A story now that we've been addressing for some time. The gap between receiving vaccine doses has now grown from three weeks to four months. And that has a lot of people concerned. Will be the demographic potentially most impacted seniors because of the possibility that a single dose isn't enough to impact their immune system. Let's break this all down. Web writer and reporter Dilshad Berman joins us now with some clarification. Speaking with Toronto's Associate Medical Officer of Health, D, we receive a lot of questions about this. So, of course, we're talking about the two doses uh, and then uh, so Pfizer, Moderna, AstraZeneca. Uh, what have you found out? Hi, good morning, Mel. Yes, so like you said, you know, we've been flooded with questions in my weekly Q&A with the doctor, and people are really concerned that that first dose, uh, you know, by the time four months rolls around, that first dose is not going to give seniors enough protection. They're probably going to lose all that protection, and then they might have to take a second shot and a third shot to actually act as a booster. Now, I spoke to the Associate Medical Officer of Health about these concerns, and here's what she had to say. Actually, some of the studies that were done even in our own country, BC and Quebec, were done in seniors who lived in long-term care homes and found that their response to one dose of the vaccine was good. The protection will wane. I mean, all of our protection will wane. And so that second dose will boost it. Now, you don't need to give a third dose, even if it, it, the protection dropped down. That second dose, regardless of when it's given, will boost it. Now, it could be down the line... Um, we might need a third booster dose, maybe for everyone, maybe just for some some groups. Now, the, the point to emphasize there really is that no matter when you take that second dose, whether it's four months later, whether it's even longer, um, that's it. That's all you have to do. Once you take that second dose, that's your complete vaccine series and you will be protected. You don't have to start from scratch again. Uh, that being said, Dee, so the follow-up, of course, is going to be what happens next year? Is this going to be like a flu vaccine where we're going to have to uh, get to our doctor or pharmacy or whatnot and, and do this yearly? Right. So what the doctor says, honestly, is that might happen because over the years, of course, immunity from the, the shots that we get will wane. But the other factor is that there might be more variants, very much like the flu every year. You know, the virus changes a little bit. Even now, we've we've seen about three or four different variants. They found a double mutant variant in India. So there could be definitely a possibility that we might have to take a different vaccine every year or a slightly modified vaccine every year to get that protection. Like you said, very much like the flu vaccine. OK, so much here, Dee. Uh, and I know you do this every single week. A lot of people have questions. How can they submit questions to you? Yes, so you can go to citynews.ca slash COVID answers. We've got an article up there. You can submit your questions there and I will present them to the doctor uh, when I speak to her every week. This time it's going to be Monday next week. All right, you got it, Dee Berman. As always, appreciate your time. Thank you.